Hey, how's it going everybody? So it's Ian. Today we're gonna to answer a question that just came in, which is something that people get very confused about. And it's about how to use custom audiences for people who are searching keywords in Google so that we can show them our YouTube ads over on YouTube. Um, just to give you a quick sort of how this works. So the, the concept is someone's over on Google searching something like in this instance, we're gonna show you an example for HVAC, but it could be roofing, could be chiropractic, could be whatever. So let's say someone's looking for like a furnace repair Boston or furnace replacement Toronto or something like that. The idea is that someone who's searching those words, we can put those people in an audience, a bucket of people that we can then target over on YouTube. And you can target these types of audiences on three different Google properties. Uh, well, really two, because you're not gonna do it on search, but you can do it on YouTube and you can also do it on Google Discovery. Um, both very useful. Uh, I find this to be probably the best way to launch a new campaign, especially if it's local, or if you have absolutely no idea how well your funnel is going to convert because it uh, we know something about the people. We can presume that they've searched these types of terms. Now there is some intricacies you're going to want to pay attention to here because it's not as straightforward as some people think. Some people think they're just going to go scrape SEM rush or spy foo or a keyword planner and dump them all in there and it's going to be a perfect almost retargeting type campaign. And while that's kind of the way it's described by Google, it's not actually the way that it works when we get down to it. So let's take a look. We're going to hop over here. We're going to create a new customer custom audience so we're I'm um, under tools I'm under shared audience uh, audience manager right custom audiences and then we're going to click the plus sign now first thing you'll notice here there is there are two different radio buttons the first one is people with any of these interests or purchase intentions and there's people who searched for any of these terms on Google now these used to be called custom intent and custom affinity and they've changed this up less than a year ago but Myself, I still have it stuck in my head that's intent and affinity. But really, the top is a much broader audience than the bottom. So people with any of these interests or purchase intentions offers a lot of... Um, leeway as to who they can plop in that audience. So if you're looking for a really big audience for a super ubiquitous offer, meaning everybody could potentially be interested in it, then that's a good place to start. But if you don't know if your ads convert, your funnel converts, you don't know what your CPA is, you don't have a big budget to work with, don't start there because it can eat budget fast. So what we want to do is click this people who search for any of these terms on Google only on campaigns running on Google properties, on other campaigns terms will be used as interests or purchase intentions. So that's exactly what we're saying here. If, uh, if you try and run this on Google Display Network, it can't run as this. So we're gonna call this uh, furnace repair, let's say, right? So I'm gonna zoom out here. So first thing you're gonna see, I'll type it up here, furnace repair. So the first thing you're gonna run into here is it starts giving me suggestions. So Google's smart enough to know that furnace repair, home heating and air conditioning repair, yes. Uh, gas furnace repair parts, gas furnace not heating, residential furnace repair near me. Now something, here's where things start to get a little uh, dicey maybe. You have to think about the state of mind of the searcher, right? So we might think here right away that gas furnace repair parts is a great term, which it kind of is, but in reality, that person isn't really looking for a repair company. They're actually looking for parts. So they're either a DIYer or maybe they're actually a contractor themselves. I, you know, I personally wouldn't put that type of word in here. The words for this type of thing, I would more, let's say we're in Toronto in Canada. You know, I'm up in Canada. So Furnace Repair Toronto, let's say, right? Furnace uh, Repair Ontario. Uh, let's see some of the terms. Furnace re furnace repair, air conditioning, yeah. Air conditioning and heater repair, yeah. Air conditioning, heating maintenance, service near me. Heater repair, heating service, these type, Toronto air conditioning and furnace repair, heating and HVAC repair. So these are the types of words I'm gonna put in here. You're gonna notice that this audience can often get smaller the tighter we keep the themes, which is the second thing that can happen. If we put in like furnace Toronto, Sorry, my spelling. We're probably gonna increase the size of our audience because we're diluting. Actually, we know we narrowed it down, not bad. What can Toronto AC Furnace Repair? Uh, what can sometimes happen is when we start to make, we start to scrape a ton of keywords, we get this weekly impressions number to be huge, 
but the problem is the people aren't as targeted. So we want to try and create groupings of keywords. So for instance, if we're going after furnace repair here, I would keep it tight to repair and service, and I would be sure to include people that are in the geography, be it the city, the state, the radius, the province, whatever, of what you're looking to, to, to provide leads for, provide services for. Um, if you wanted to market new furnaces, I would probably create a separate keyword group for that rather than doing it this way. But this is pretty much all it takes. You would go in, you put your keywords in here, you make sure you've got the second radio button Button, people who search for any of these terms you can take a look to make sure sort of who the demographics are right now something that doesn't happen if you've seen other people build custom audiences if you click this I'm gonna click it and I'll show you if you click that top radio button it's gonna refresh the stats on the right and it's actually gonna tell us who who's in this audience people that like Ontario HVAC and climate control Canada and air conditioners so interestingly enough if we were to create an affinity audience out of this and this is sometimes why they don't work as well this Google feels this audience is more to do with Ontario, the whole province in Canada, versus HVAC and climate control. So taking out things like the Toronto-specific terms would be likely useful because we're looking for people who have an interest or intention. But when we're talking about the keyword side of things, I prefer to keep them in there. It doesn't give us this data, but we want Google to know, like we're looking for people to search things like Furnace HVAC Toronto. Google takes liberties here where it says only, um, it's, will be used as intro, okay, it, actually, here we will mouse over this here. Enter search terms your ideal customer is using on Google. Your ads will reach people who search for those and similar terms only on campaigns running on Google properties like YouTube. So the similar terms is the key there. So it it's smart enough to know if we're looking for furnace repair in Toronto, what else is gonna be in there? So you don't necessarily, it's not about trying to get every single long tail keyword someone could potentially search in here, but it is about trying to make sure we get the terms in there that we know people uh, that are gonna create this relationship that we need, right? You're gonna see this is far more skewed male than female, 72%, I might even just run this to male, and over 40 probably is my guess, right? So that's how to create that campaign, or that, that um, pardon me, that audience. And then you just basically use that as a custom audience that you target over on YouTube with your ad. This is, if you've got low budgets, um, a very specific offer, so like a home services offer or something like that is a good example, right? Um, that has to go to a certain certain group, or you really have no idea how to get started targeting, it's a great way to target because what you're going to be able to do is then go in and look at what channels and videos did your ad show on, where do people click, where did your conversions come from, then you can build up an email, or you can build up an audience over on, uh, of similar people who are converted here, or similar people to video viewers, there's all kinds of stuff you can get data on. So much about running YouTube ads is about gathering and paying for the data that you need, and then from there, you're able to um, scale out to additional audiences and things like this once you have more information. So hopefully that's clear on how to set up these uh, keyword specific audiences for targeting searchers from Google search. Uh, as always, click the subscribe button below to get all my update videos as they come out. And if you're not yet on our list for our YouTube ads training, click the link in the description and sign up because I send out these new videos every day and you can ask your question about what you want to know about YouTube ads and I'll answer it in a video just like this and you'll see it on the channel. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye for now.